Hello, my YouTube friends. Dave Wilson here. I want to show you the rat rig. I actually have it moving. I'm first going to do a haul and then I'm going to trim the bed using the three Z motors. There's a front Z motor, a rear Z motor, I'm sorry, a front right Z motor, a rear Z motor, and a front left. And they all work independently and each have their own driver. And what happens is there's a hex limit switch for the side to side and a Y limit switch for front to back and the top to bottom but up and down on the switch is easy able. So it's a capacitive sensor. So the first thing I'm gonna do is home the printer. I'm doing home all. So it'll hit the hex limit switch. Then the Y. Now I'll sense the bed height, and I have it way off the bed, so I don't worry about scratching the glass I just put on it. Okay, so it says it knows where the bed is, but it's not level. So what I'm going to do is use this uh, macro, and we'll go ahead and measure three specific spots, and calculate how far it is from each one. So the spots are roughly where the pivot points are on the motor arms. So now it's going to do a calculation and adjust the motors. Now go through this until it gets it level within the tolerance that uh, is in the uh, configuration file. So what happens then is it displays results down here. So it's trying to get within 0 0.02 uh, uh, across the bed. So right now the last entry was at 0 0.05. So it's going to keep measuring and adjusting. So I got it at 0 0.01. So it's done. That. So that's how that works. Um, I actually had some filament going through. I haven't tried to print anything yet. I'm still working on the extruder, but it is running. And the way that this works, I'm measuring the point of the control board. I'm using a Big Tree T, uh, BTT or Big Tree Tech Octopus. And it's got eight separate stepper drivers. So three for the Z motors, um, one for the X and Y, which are is really the right and left motor, and one for the extruder. So I spent a lot of time trying to do some wire management, and I think it came out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Um, got the Raspberry Pi, the Big Tree Tech, the Easy Able control box is right here, and then you know, there's a solid state relay that controls the bed. It's a 110 volt bed, and for as big as it is, it heats up in about a minute to 60 degrees. So it takes 110 volts, and uh, that's what that little relay does. It switches it on and off. But, uh, so hopefully I'll have some prints pretty soon. But I uh, just wanted to show you on that. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.